So we're here at the Majestic booth at PubCon and I'm with Robert Scoble, the Scobalizer. You've just got off stage talking about virtual reality. You just gave us a glimpse of the future. What's the future? The future is uh, mixed reality, actually, which is the next wave after virtual reality. I think in, by the end of 2017, everybody who buys the new iPhone 8 is going to get a virtual reality headset, and that, that's going to let you do all sorts of fun things, like play basketball with somebody, design new kinds of things with people, um, get travel the world and see uh, new kinds of movies and experience new kinds of things. That'll be a lot of fun and, and the technology is going to mature really quickly because I've seen it in the R&D labs around the world. After that, and you're starting to get hints of what else is coming in the mixed reality world like Microsoft HoloLens. HoloLens puts virtual items on top of you, right, or on top of the world. You could have zombies walking around the show floor here. Uh, or your brand could be doing all sorts of fun things when I walk by with a HoloLens on. That's a little bit further away for consumers. Uh, today you can buy a HoloLens, it's $3,000, but it's big and dorky and it's good for industrial uses and you know, places where you don't care about looking, like a, looking weird with a big thing on your face. In the next three years, those are going to get shrunk enough to be a, a pair of glasses that you're going to wear. And they're going to do amazing things like, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, you go to a NASCAR race, you're sitting with the glasses on, you get to see where your favorite driver is on the track, you get to see all of the stats coming off of Danica Patrick's car, her tire heat, all sorts of fun stuff that the, the pits all have. The pits have this data, it's yeah. real-time data coming off of the car right to their monitors, but you as a fan don't get to see that. Soon you will, and it'll transform the viewing experience of going to a NASCAR race or going to a shopping mall. Hey Siri, where's the sh where's the blue jeans in this mall? Boom! It'll draw a blue line on the floor for you, right on and on. And then we're going to get fantastic new ways of entertaining. I I visited a startup in uh, Seattle called Look, and um, I put on the Hololens glasses, and they on the wall they had a window, and it you walk around and the window's on the wall. It's it's it, the technology is really amazing to be able to do that. And then they said, click on the window. You click on the window and zombies start crawling through the window and into your space right. and coming toward you. And you have to shoot them before they get to you. That's crazy. <laughs> so this was a marketing conference, yeah. obviously. You had some advice for marketers. How, how yeah. does that, you know, we tend to ruin everything by putting advertising I, on it. But, but advertising how's that is going to change, right? Because uh, f first of all, you're going to impel the advertising. So hey Siri, where's the cool nightclub in Vegas? We're doing that with our phones, but soon you're gonna just see five pictures. Oh, you know, the Trist nightclub is over here. And because enough people in those places will have the glasses and watches on and phones, if you're dancing like this, you're uh, sending a lot of signal to the internet, like this is the hot nightclub, this is where everybody's dancing. And the cameras can already tell gender, so we can tell gender mixed makeup, right? So if you want to go and hang out with all the dudes, you can go to that one. If you want to see all the uh, hot ladies, <laughs> you could go to that one. And you'll see live video cameras of, of, the, of the floor, right? right? So you can see, oh, that one looks more fun than this one, right? And that's the new SEO, yeah. that's the new brand. You have to build a virtual component of your brand, which is going to uh, uh, articulate itself when you walk by the Trist nightclub with these glasses on. The, the whole thing will be on fire, right? Virtual fire. <laughs> and uh, you'll be like, wow, that looks like a great place to go in and have a party, right? And then brands like uh, Moet are going to bring out bottles and the bottle is going to have a fireworks show popping off the bottle because it can see the brand and it can see the bottle. These 3D sensors are really sensitive. I mean, they're so sensitive they can see the individual fibers in your jacket and, wow. it, and I can look at the jacket for, with an eye sensor and it'll tell me what kind of jacket you're wearing, right? What brand? Oh, it's a Gucci jacket or something like that, right? It's crazy. So you, you guys start playing VR today. Yeah. That's the lesson. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem intuitive but VR, when you play VR, you start understanding what's possible, how crude the graphics are or how not crude they are. And you, you, if you're working in the creative industry, you're gonna start working with your team to start thinking about this new world. And you're gonna have to have a VR to get into the mindset of it and to build the software teams that are gonna build things for this world. Because in three years, it is gonna matter. Yeah. I just wanted to ask one, one question. My 
company Delightful Communications, we do a lot of personal branding, and I've always been intrigued by you. I, you know, I bought your book in 2006, yeah. Naked Conversations. I was at Microsoft for, for, for many years and left. Always been very impressed with the way that you've carried yourself you. using digital media, Facebook, film, video, and all that Everything. kind of stuff, Twitter. Yeah. Was that intentional? What, 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 what is your approach yeah, to your personal brand? I, I was a journalism major in, in college in the early 90s, and I uh, worked for a computer programming magazine and had a column in there and so, sort of built a brand that way. But that, that didn't build a brand like the blog. And it, you know, I, I was early in blogging and learned very quickly that built up a, a brand and that could be a, used to build an audience. And quick, very quickly, within a few weeks, I had thousands of people reading my blog, and I, I realized that it had a lot of power, and it still does. <clears throat> um, today, if you were starting out today, it's tough to know which channel to use because there's Pinterest for visuals, there's Snapchat for the kids, mm -hmm. uh, and Snapchat's going to be really important with these new spectacles coming out because yeah. I'm going to be able to do a new kind of reality show just by tapping on my glasses and let people uh, follow my life around. And we'll see where that goes, but I, I'm going to play with that. Um, Facebook, of course, and Instagram are really Im important. Twitter's still important, uh, although it's flatlined. So, you know, where is that going in the future? We don't know. But it's important to understand all of these things and how to communicate. I think most companies now have people that are somewhat adept at doing social media and coming up with campaigns and coming up with ideas to get customers to come in. This next world, though, that we're going in is very visual and, and very different than today's Facebook. Yeah. Uh, Facebook is changing to be this new social VR company because we can play basketball together. Right. So if I'm playing basketball with you over the internet, why are we on Facebook? We're not. We're in Facebook VR. You know, mm -hmm. It's really crazy what's coming. And as you go into a shopping mall or an airport with these glasses on in three years, it's going to tell you stuff like, hey, I, I'm going to the airport in an hour. You know, where's my gate? This way. <laughs> uh, where's the sushi restaurant in this airport? This way. <laughs> what, um, you know, where's the bathroom? This way. <laughs> you know, and it'll tell it, American Airlines already has this all mapped out. They already have the data. The mobile app that you get when you are in the, app, in the store already does a lot of this stuff. It's just now it's going to be laid on top of the world and it's going to be. Uh, and, and you're going to start seeing brands start to do virtual components to their brands, right? You walk by a Coca-Cola sign, uh, sign or a, a can, and that can is going to do something. Uh, some guys are going to jump out of the can and give you a little performance, right? A Skrillex will jump out of the can and give you a little party right out of the can, right? That'll really augment what you think of Coca-Cola, and you'll start looking at that Coca-Cola can for 20 minutes yeah. while, if you're interested in it, right? Or a baseball game could pop right out of the can, right? A live baseball game. I, this, the, you're the excited year, about this, aren't you, Robert? Yeah, this is the most, <laughs> well, first of all, Microsoft told me they are betting their entire company on HoloLens and, and cloud, which is the back end of, of the UI that we're going to get. So when a 440 billion dollar company that tells you they're betting on something, you should listen. <laughs> There's something big happening. And I just visited Qualcomm. I'm going around the world and getting an idea of how much investments are going on in these 3D sensors. There's 600 engineers at Apple working just on a 3D sensor, wow. right? So if you aren't paying attention to that, you're going to be like surprised one day. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised. I'm seeing the investments in the engineering that's going to come out in the next one to three years. So it's going to Robert, be a fun time. fantastic. Great speech. You've got to get to the airport. Yeah. Uh, but really great to meet you after all these years. Thank you so Cheers, much. Mate. And all thanks right. for uh, what you did. No worries. Thanks.